So this is my broken salt cell for my uh, for the chlorine generator for my pool. I have a salt swimming pool, and this is the salt water from the swimming pool comes in, hits some plates that are in there, and then goes out this side, and uh, electricity breaks down the salt, converts it to chlorine, and it keeps your pool clean. So I cut it apart. I first cut this one apart right there. And I saw, oh, there's my plates right there, but it's not at the other side. How does it work? Well, this, th so I cut it there. Well, this thing just slides off of there. And this is just the housing right here. Well, what I didn't know is that this thing right here, you can pop that off, no problem. And then you can pretty much get to everything. What you can't get to is this. This is the heat sensor. And if it was in there, you would see it sitting like that. Stupid design. This should be threaded with a rubber o-ring so you could pop it out and replace it. But of course, no, that's uh, you know kind of planned for it to fail, so you got to buy a new one. Actually, and let's take a look at this thing. If you go here, I pop this thing out, and that's the little. Where is it? Let's see. Can you see that right there? That looks like a little resistor or some chunk. Anyway, it's got this white. This thing when I pulled it off, this. This uh, whole thing right there, that, that thing was slap ass full of that um, white heat transfer paste. But anyway, so that's it. So uh, right here, how they manufacture this, this is the two, these are the wires that are in there. There's the two red and blue that are connected to that. So this thing you couldn't pull completely off because this thing would be mounted in it or there's no way to take it off. But then inside of here, this is all these other wires. This brown... Uh, Brown, orange, green, yellow were disconnected and cut off like that, and that's probably why this thing, the M thing, failed. Uh, but how this actually works is right here is this little uh, part of the wall for a well. This piece that I cut off just to get in there because I didn't know what was in there, and I couldn't get this bolt. Oh, this bolt was was not coming loose, so I got in there and I knocked it a little bit loose, and I, and I was able to undo it. This one just did free will and I'll show you what happened. It, it spun and it cracked and broke off. But this little well that's right here is so you tell you you put your wires on there, you get the two white wires, you put a connector on them where they're joined together, and then a little uh spade type of uh connector. Same thing with there. White goes there, uh, black goes there. And pretty much that's it. Then they tighten them down. And with the device sitting like this, then they'll fill. I, I cut the wall off of right there, all the way around there, and all the way around there. But anyway, there would be a little well, and they'd pour their epoxy in there and um, try and waterproof it. Well, that looks like rust to me. And they didn't do too good a job doing it because all of this popped off. This is all shiny plastic. They didn't use a primer or anything. Uh, horrible. It's a, not a bad design, but how they assembled it, got a lot to be desired of. Um, wanted to show you, so if I was to buy one of the, these things brand new, this is the very first thing that I would do. I would pop this lid off, and then right where this well is, now this thing would be hanging by these wires, because remember that you can't get off of there. Uh, but anyway, I would take some silicone, go around the top of this, and pray to God that no water gets in that way, vice versa, whatever. Uh, but also, most importantly, is that you got the, the, the black and red that go to the heat sensor. You got the white and black that goes to the, uh, the carriage for the metal plates and the salt cell. But then you got these other, other wires right there that, that aren't doing anything, yet they go up into these connectors and if water got behind there and somehow shorted it out, you could fry your board. Another stupid design from uh, Hayward, you know, number one is if you got wires and they're not doing anything, don't let it, uh, you got to seal it up so water won't get to it. The other thing is this should have been a screw-in fitting where you could take it off and replace it. Maybe put a rubber O-ring in there. Something better than this turd. But anyway... Uh, this thing's $485 to be replaced from Hayward. The salt pool cell was uh, a little over $200, and 60 days later, it failed. So, not happy with either company. Hayward, the, you know, is the gold standard, and they got these designs that are, you know, 
plan to fail. Anyway, they could have done better. I'm on to f figure out what's going on with the salt pool cell, but I just wanted to show you what's inside of this one. Thanks for watching. Bye.